All right, uh, today I'm gonna talk about why black men are the least likely to get promoted in corporate America. Now, a lot of people might think, oh, it's just racism, but um, that is just a little too black and white, uh, no pun intended. Um, and when it comes to finding the truth, it's, it's usually in the gray. It's usually more nuanced than that. But um, black men are the least likely. I read a report that said uh, black men only occupy one to three percent of C-suite or executive level positions in corporate America, and that's a very low percentage. But um, the reason for that is um, is multi-layered. Now, um, those who are in position to promote usually don't look like black men, so that has something to do with it. People usually promote people that they have a commonality with, that they get along with, that they share some type of cultural affinity with. So. Black men are excluded for that reason. That has a part to play in it, but it is a, a deeper reason also that I think a lot of people aren't um, aware of or don't openly discuss. So uh, that reason is that they don't trust the black male's ability to lead. And it's not just inherently because you're black. It has a lot to do with how your culture is portrayed in the media and the messages that are sent out about you as a black male. So in particular, you got um, our community, black community is one of the only, uh, the so-called black community is one of the only communities or demographics that is matriarchal, meaning that women run the household. Now I know there's men out there that run their household, they handle their business, they provide for everybody in it. I'm not talking about you, but I'm saying that that is the general perception. And so um, our community is matriarchal and so the women run it. So you have that strike against you. And 70% um, of black children are born to single mother households. So the father is not in the home. Uh, that is a perception that's out there also. Now, um, once again, I know there's men that's in the home taking care of the business, but that's the perception. Those are the statistics. And that's what other demographics think. And then you have um, the proliferation of your women saying, yelling at the top of their lungs how they don't need you. Um, there's a, I know that, you know, a lot of women don't think like that, but the message that a lot of people receive and that's loud and clear is that they don't need you. And some women in the black community yell that at the top of their lungs to whoever will listen. Uh, they're saying they don't need you. They don't need a man. Uh, there's no man in the house. And the community is matriarchal. So what does that say about you, black man? It says that to the other races that, well, if he can't even run his own community, he's not present in his child's life and in that home. And his woman is saying to any and everybody how much she don't need him. Why would we let him come in here and then dictate anything to us? If he can't even control his community and his household, why would we let him control any aspect of corporate America if his woman is telling everybody that she don't need him? So when you have that perception out there about your community as a whole, and then you try to get into these corporate workspaces and think that just because you work hard or your uh, your resume is better or that you um, you do a better job than than Jeff or something that you just gonna get a promotion or you just gonna be an executive, that's not the case. You have to battle the uh, the demons, the perceptions of you outside and your community as a whole. And it is, it's a battle that a lot of people, a lot of men aren't prepared for and they don't know that these perceptions affect your work. They don't know that they think, oh, well, it's uh, they keep me down or it's racism, but you have to realize that these things, even though they don't take place at the workplace, they do filter into the minds of people that are hiring and that are promoting. And then that affects how they view you. So it, it's not even necessarily anything that you do incorrectly. It's just the general perception that's out there. And uh, it's damaging and you 